Hello, my name is Matt and welcome to another episode of Matt Makes. Today I want to show you my new Settler of Catan set which I printed with the Prusa MK2 multi-material upgrade. I want to show you the game, um, tell something about the printer and the settings and the things you have to take care of and finally I want to show you how you can put it together. So let's get started. So there we go, that is the, the whole set put together and uh, okay let's get started with the facts. Why I created this set? I already made one which is available on Thingiverse that comes together with all its expansions. Um, the reason why I did this because with my uh, first tiles I didn't create the designs by myself, I just grabbed them, um, took all the parts that were available in Thingiverse and did combine them uh, into this set. Um, and I always wanted to create one from, from scratch uh, on my own and I got inside in, into Blender, Tinkercad and um, it was really a cool project to do all by myself. So what is the major difference be between my first set and the, this new one? It also comes with uh, some um, improvements. Um, the first thing is about the magnets that go inside uh, the tiles. Um, with my first set you had to use round magnets that were clipped inside uh, the tiles. And you did need uh, a lot of magnets because in each side uh, there were holes for three magnets. And uh, a lot of people complained that the magnets did not hold to, to the parts. And actually if you don't get your printer settings right before you print those tiles, uh, they will fall off. And I had the, the same issue sometimes, so that's the reason actually why I did put felt foil. On, on the bottom of those. With my new tiles um, you won't have that problem at all because they use uh, cylindrical magnets and you just need one magnet for each side so that makes um, a lot uh, less magnets that you need. Um, each tile comes in with two parts that are glued together. One is the, the base and one is the top part and the magnets are secured inside the base and they won't fall off at all. What else? Um, you see here you do need less material to print uh, the tiles as well. Um, if you do have a single material printer and you ask yourself, uh, oh, this looks really nice, I want to print one, but I, I don't have a multi-material printer, no problem at all, all the tiles they uh, are available on Thingiverse as well. Um, for single color printers, um, all you have to do then is just to, to paint the tiles by your own. So that's everything about the set. Let's go uh, to the printer and let's explain you some details about the printer if you have a uh, Prusa multi-material upgrade as well. So I was uh, one of the lucky ones that uh, got their multi-material upgrade quite early so I'm using it almost half a year now and uh, actually I, I, it's both. I, I do love this printer for its capabilities of printing uh, multi-material parts but sometimes I really hate it as well. <laughs> so. In my point of view, there are just uh, two things um, that I have to complain. And one thing is um, the, the quality of, of smaller parts like this settlement, for example. 
because they call it an upgrade, which is re which is true because uh, it can print uh, multiple colors now, but um, it is also a downgrade when it comes to really small parts um, like these because the layers are just not um, that um, precise as before um, when the, the printer was just a printer with one, one color. And it's actually this, it doesn't matter if you print uh, just into, in one color or um, in several colors, the quality will be less good. Um, there is also a video available from, from Tested. Um, check it out, it's about that topic of uh, the precision of the, of the layers as well. The second thing um, I have to complain is uh, the re reliability of the printer um, because I got a lot of misprints and I really took apart the, the, the whole thing. I, I did change the nozzle, I did change the, the stepper motors and uh, I really tried a lot of things and I think I, I really got inside the, how that the printer works but still I got a lot of problems. The main problem I see is the PFT tube which uh, is inside here. So I got aware of that problem and I made the tubes by myself. But a lot of times, and I'm just using normal PLA and PLA from Prusa, um, the, the filament which is drawn back um, inside this element here um, is just a little bit too big and it gets stuck inside here so that's that's all about the printer um, maybe one thing if you do print um, your tiles so let's say you're printing uh, the wood tile um, there is all, always a purge block um, which comes with the prints so just don't print one tile at this uh, at a time. Um, always put several times um, the the same tile um, there to print because you always need one purge block. That's it for the printer. Let's go back to the set. So one last thing uh, be before I show you how to put uh, together the the bases with the magnets. Um, when you print the set, um, also if you do have just uh, a single material uh, printer, um, as I said before, those tiles they uh, they are made from two parts. One is one is the base, and one is the top part. And you have to choose your colors right. I think that's an advantage if you play the game, um, because you have the the harbors where you can trade stuff and that you can see quite uh, fast um, which harbor um, corresponds to uh, which uh, resource. Um, just, it's my, uh, my hint, just use uh, the same color for the, for the harbors uh, and their resources as you use for the, the basis of the corresponding tile. So, for example, I printed the wheat, uh, the sheep harbor um, in white and also the, the border of the sheep tiles are in white and uh, so on. The brick is orange, so the basis of the brick tiles are in orange, uh, the wheat tiles are yellow and the basis of the wheat tiles as well. So that is something that can help um, during the game. So now let's go inside the building, how you put together those bases. Uh, there were a lot of questions if I could do a video about it. So um, let's show you how to put those tiles together. So how does this work? As I mentioned before, we need one base for each tile and a total of six magnets um, that goes, goes inside the holes in each side. 
those magnets I used, they are axial magnets. That means their orientation is something like this. So each magnet has a pole um, on the left side and the opposite pole on the right side. So if you use axial magnets, you really have to be careful how do you arrange them inside the, the tiles. As you can see here, I have chosen a counterclockwise arrangement. So when you put in the first magnet, then counterclockwise the se second magnet with the same orientation, um, red on the left side, um, black on the right side, and then the next one with the same orientation again, and so on, until you went all around with all the magnets. You can also do it counterclockwise, it doesn't matter actually, but um, you have to follow this orientation. If you don't do it, um, the whole set will, will fall apart. Why is this actually working? So if we take a second tile, which has the same orientation as the one before, you're going to see as soon as I put it on, on the side of each other, those two magnets here, they are going to attract each other because they are swapped in orientation. I can put it here, that's the same principle, here as well, here as well. So that is how uh, the orientation has to be, that your set is not going to fall apart. So let's put one tile together and uh, I'm going to show you how to put in the magnets and how to follow this orientation um, quite easily. So what do we need to put uh, each tile together? First, you do need to print one of the, the bases and with each base there are six small parts um, that come with it. The base has a hole in each side where the magnets are going to fit in and those small parts they are meant to hold the magnets inside uh, the base that they can't fall out. Then we do need a resource tile, which you do print separately, which at the end comes on top of the base like this. And if you have glued everything together, um, it will secure the magnets inside the base and they don't fall out at all. Of course, we do need some magnets. Those are um, cylindrical magnets. They're quite cheap to get and they have a length of 6 mm and a diameter of 3 mm. Just make sure that uh, you don't get bigger magnets because they won't fit inside the bases. What is also very handy um, to use is a screwdriver um, to put the, the small parts inside uh, the holes here. Just make sure that the size of the screwdriver is not bigger um, than the holes inside the, inside the base. So that's everything you need to put one of the tiles together. Okay, so let's put the first base together. So we need the base element, the six small parts uh, that come with it and a bunch of magnets. So um, what I did here is to line up um, some magnets um, and this is quite important um, that is going to be um, your reference for the orientation of the magnets so that helps you to get um, the, the correct alignment. So we take uh, the stick and we gonna just chop off the first magnet and put it inside the cavity and then we're gonna place the the, the magnets beside. I'm gonna take one of the small parts, put it there, and then I take the screwdriver, slightly put it inside. Okay, there we go. So the first magnet is secured and inside the base. Then I turn it uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, take the next magnet, from the top again, put the next small part there, 
the screwdriver and put it inside and so on so let's do it for the no the others So, okay, there we go. That is uh, our first base we put together. So just let's uh, do the final check that all the magnets um, have the correct orientation. So I just use uh, the stick of magnets again and I just turn it around in this case and I check if it is attracted by each side. If yes, so all the magnets are aligned like this inside the base. Okay, so we finished our uh, first tile here with the magnets um, with the correct uh, orientation. So uh, how it does go on with the, with the next base. So I just take the next uh, empty base and the small parts again and then uh, the magnets as I had them before um, in a long row and now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to check the orientation so I take the, the end of the stick that sticks to my tile that I've made before let's show you the other side so that doesn't stick really well it just pushes it away so I take the right end of the stick that is attracting to, to my tile. And then just put in the magnet as before. And as you can see, now those two bases, they attach. So now I just take one of the small pieces again, screwdriver, and I put it in. So, then I can turn the, the, the piece, the base, and just put in the next magnet. There we go. Put the small part on top. The next one. So that's actually how um, you put in the, the magnets in the second tile. Just let's finish this. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our uh, two tiles and uh, we can put all the sides together and they always attract each other. So go on like this, proceed like this until um, you got a total of uh, six bases and that's where everything gets uh, really easy. So. I have uh, finished my first uh, six bases here, so now to, uh, to fill the next um, empty bases it's quite easy. So just put uh, those six uh, parts like this and the one you want to fill the magnets in just in the middle of those. And now I can just take the magnets 
tuck, put them in, go around and put them in on all holes and because they are attracted now from all the sides they just stay in place. And now I, you just grab uh, the small parts and close them inside of this base. So after you got six pieces proceed like this and it's, it's really easy to finish your whole set. Good luck! Okay, so now if you have put together all the, the base elements and the magnets, um, it's time to put the resource parts that you printed separately on top of them. So just take some glue and put it in the inner part here over the small parts that hold the magnets all around and then just go on and take the resource part put it on top of it and that's it. That's how actually you put together um, your entire set. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much uh, for watching my channel um, and I hope I could give you uh, all the important informations about this Settler of Catan set. Special thanks to uh, Nico from uh, Corridor Digital. Thanks a lot, man, for making uh, two videos about my, my Settler set on Thingiverse. Go check out their channel. They do really cool stuff. And I spend a lot of time making my models and uh, the material I need and to create them. So if you want to give me a tip, go on Thingiverse and uh, I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, if you have any questions about the set um, or the other um, models I make, don't hesitate. Just visit Thingiverse.com and uh, ask me in the comments uh, anything you want. Thank you very much and see you next time at Matt Makes. Bye!